This reading is for those of you that have strongly Capricorn in your chart. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. Capricorn. The death and the ace of cups. So a major transformation. Mm -hmm. A death and a rebirth to the matters of the heart, Capricorn. Page of Swords. I feel that there was something that was revealed to you. Capricorn. The Eight of Cups. It feels like that it feels like you stopped putting effort into something. Because Capricorn, you are one of the signs, right? You are an earth sign. And as a Capricorn, when you focus, you focus. And you will succeed, okay? You will put all your energy, all your time, all your effort to bring your goal into fruition. Okay? So I'm seeing someone here being persistent. Okay, being patient with someone, I do see that, but you see Capricorn, when you plant a seed and you take care of it and it doesn't grow, then you just like accept and you move on, sinks of swords, you see what I mean? You cut, you, 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 you cut your losses, if I'm saying this correctly, right? So this is what I'm getting from this reading. Two more shuffles for Capricorn. I feel that you're turning to back you're turning your back to someone um with a heavy heart but it feels that like it feels like there is no other choice this is the best choice for you capricorn and you are aware of this okay so i feel that i'm ready let's see capricorn we have the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck this is fire energy Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but I do feel strongly that this is you, Capricorn, embodying the spirit, the energy of the Queen of Wands. Okay. I feel that you are confident about your decision, the decision that you have already made or you are about to make, okay? Definitely moving forward. And again, I feel that maybe this is not for all of you, but uh, the message I mean, but it's like, but I feel that it's for a lot of you that you're, you, you are letting go with a, a heavy heart, okay? So let's see. The first card for you is the five of wands. The knight of wands, a lot of wands, huh? a lot of fire energy. The Two of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. And the Empress. Okay, let's see. We have the Page of Cups. 
and death and rebirth. Mm. Okay. And again, the heart. You see the heart here? Mm. Okay. Okay. You are definitely changing, like, mm, like your feelings is like, uh, they, your feelings have been shifting. So, it's interesting because the pages are very fresh energy, Capricorn. For a lot of you, this is the rebirth. Or I would better say the birth of something new, Capricorn. I strongly feel that this is new love entering. New love entering. This is a lover's connection that has a lot of potential to grow. Because I'm seeing two people here that barely know each other. They're like in that phase of getting to know each other. Mm? Spending quality time together. So I see these two people Building together. This is all about building. If you know, if you notice in this deck, the Ace of Pentacles has roots. Mm. So I again, I feel that a plant, a plant, excuse me, a seed mm, has been planted in the soil has planted, has been planted in the ground, and slowly, slowly, we see the roots, huh? Yes? But this is like a very equal kind of, yes, give and receive, because again, with the five of wands, the five of wands, In this kind of, a, in, in this kind, like with, with, with these cards around, with these energies around, I'm seeing like again, two people fighting. Building and fighting. In a good way to keep this, to make it stronger. This is like, I've never noticed this before. I've never noticed this before because this, 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 this man here is, is, is holding a torch. No, this is like fire. This is fire. And this is very important. And everyone wants to reach to this flame. This is what they're struggling for here. To get on top, to touch the flame, to reach the flame. Mm. So again, for me, these are, excuse me for the visual. I don't know if my, the, sorry about that. Um, I don't know if it was too close for you. Sorry. So I feel that these two people here are these two pages. And again, we see the flame in this, in this card. This is really beautiful, actually. Really, really, really beautiful energy, Capricorn. Mm. And for me, the fire, here is the pentacle. Mm. Is the pentacle. I need, I want to start clarifying. I did see the emperor. 
The emperor is a masculine energy. Like, seriously. Like, seriously. This is a very strong message, Cap Capricorn, for you. Very strong. Because I, I'm feeling that 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 that, that there's something is being like I, I, I cannot say that it's it, it's it's getting like it's I don't feel that it's a rebirth, like I don't feel that this is someone from the past, not at all. It's a birth. Of something new. With someone new. And for a lot of you, I feel that this is the one. I feel that this is your soulmate life partner. And yes, this message is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? It will not. I want to clarify the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. The Eight of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Again, we're, we're seeing people putting work in. Hmm. The death. Because you have walked away. You have walked away. So this is that death. The process hmm, of death. And you're heading towards your birth, your rebirth. I really hope this is making sense to you, Capricorn. Okay? Because this is also a creation. They're creating something. I'm also seeing a single mother with two children that is about to meet her soulmate life partner, okay? And um, this is a mother that has been working very hard, but she's a good mother. She's a good mother. Mm. Now let's move on, okay? And I want to clarify the mother, the wife, the woman, the female energy, the divine feminine. For Capricorn, please. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Two of Pentacles. Mm. And again, we see a female energy that has a lot on her plate. She has a lot of responsibilities. Maybe a little bit she has neglected herself. Hmm? Her wants, her needs, her desires. It could be that this person here, this female energy, because we're talking about the divine feminine. We're talking about the empress, okay, here. This, this this woman is very much focused in, in her 3D reality. Her home, her career, her family, her friends. And I feel that it is time now for her. This time is for her. You need it. You deserve it. 
Capricorn, if this message is if this message resonates with you, if you are this empress, if you are this female that has been working so hard with no play, with no excitement, no play. It's time for you to play. It's time for you to enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to receive, Capricorn. It's time for you to receive. The Nine of Pentacles is the pre-Empress energy. Again, we're seeing a very strong female energy here that is single, has been single for quite some time, but she's confident, she looks good, she smells good, she's happy. She, she has her job. In many cases, the Nine of Pentacles, like the, the energy of the Nine of Pentacles is an entrepreneur, a woman that knows who she is, what she wants, okay? Capricorn. Okay, I'll take them both, I'll take them both. We have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. Again, I'm seeing the same thing here with the Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. A lovely female energy that has put a lot of her time, her energy, her effort mm, to build a strong foundation for herself and for her family. Okay? So you're going to be rewarded for your hard work. You are blessed and you are protected. It's time for you to receive with the full yes. This is your new chapter. This is the new chapter. And you deserve it. One more, please, before I end this. Yep. There you go, Queen of Pentacles. There you go. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. It's very interesting, right? She is a very good builder. Ah, look, she's holding the Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing that everything... It's, 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 it's like you have been preparing for this King of Cups. And everything is ready for you to accept this person in your life. There is room, there's space inside of you, around you. I, I, I strongly feel that it's time for the two of you to come together, Capricorn. To, to, to join hearts, to come into union. Yes. It's the right time. It's the right time. Yeah, okay. So. There is a very similar story with this King of Cups. Okay. This King of Cups could have been someone that was married in the past or was in a long term relationship. He also went through a very, like, he went through healing, cleansing. He went through all that. So both of you have done the work. Both of you are ready for each other. <laughs> <laughs>
You saw that. <laughs> it flew out of the deck. Well, it's time for you to play. It's time for you to play. I feel that this message is for both of you, okay? So, let's see. Self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? Do you have enough free time or are you booked to the minute? Life goes by so damn fast. Make sure to have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike curiosity and zest. When life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for the stuff that turns you on. Well, this person is going to turn you on. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> Sorry about that, Capricorn. Go to the movies. <laughs> Have an adult slumber party. Swing at the playground. You've, you're never too old to wee. Let the fun shine in and live a little. Or a lot. So, it's time to play. As you can see, this is so cute because there are two doggies here. <laughs> the, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> Let's see what is your spiritual message, Capricorn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Capricorn. Spiritual message for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Beyond the ego, surrender to the flow of life. When you walked away from whatever you walked away is the time that you did surrender to the flow. Mm -hmm. Ego death. The ego wants what it wants, but <laughs> the divine's plan is greater than the ego's. So... This is what is fl flowing, flying in, flying, flowing. You understand what I mean, Capricorn? And this is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.